Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Mental Complex here. And today I've got a short little uh, kind of an overview and just a quick discussion to share with you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the new Spyderco Delica Warncliffe, which is actually pretty cool. If you're like me, you I, I have more recently come to prefer a Warncliffe blade for EDC. I found that it makes a lot more sense with generic stuff, right? Opening boxes, cutting some tape, making a, you know, a fitment cut on something, draw cuts, things like that. Big fan of the Warncliffe blade. Um, we're going to be talking about this today. Thanks so much to Blade Edge uh, for sending this in for review. Please give him a follow. It's because of people like him that I'm able to bring you guys daily night content. It's also because of my generous patrons. Thanks so much, guys. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I should have... <laughs> so dumb. I should have uh, had my, um, my Delica ready. This is one that my wife got me for our anniversary a while back. So um, just taking a look at the two different blade profiles, right? There's the standard blade chip. And this obviously isn't a standard Delica, but it's the same standard blade chip. And you can see there up against the Warncliffe. Um, we have everything else is identical to the way that the base version of the Delica comes, right? We have the Lackluster VG10 steel. I know VG10 is all right. You know, it's not that it's like, gosh, if like if somebody was like, you can only carry this one knife for the rest of your life and it's VG10, I wouldn't be like, well, I guess I'll just not use a knife. No, VG10 is fine. It's not OS 8 or 8CR or any of the abysmal CRs underneath uh, 8CR, right? No, it's okay. It's just not spectacular considering they still want $84 for this thing. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I really wish that uh, Spider Co. would either, and this is not what they're going to do, I wish they would drop the price on this guy. Uh, the Delica, there is, it has no business as an $84 knife. The Delica itself, if you don't know, is actually a very legendary EDC design, and it's good, right? My problem has never been with the Delica design. My problem has been with the lackluster material. We have the, you know, the injectionable plastic, okay, but the VG10, mostly, it's like, come on, for 84 bucks, right? Uh, they should either drop the price of this down to something like, uh, 50 bucks, um, which they're not going to do, or this needs the base version of this needs to see a steel change. To what I don't know. A lot of people would say S30V, but then again, you know, S30V I think might be a steel that Spider. I don't know. I would I would guess that Spiderco might be considering phasing S30V out of a lot of their uh, their line, right? They take it to 20 CV. It's going to be more expensive. Same with S45 VN. We need a good stainless steel option if they want to keep it at $84. The best version of this knife, it's the same as the standard Delica. Uh, they, if they have not dropped it yet, they will be dropping at some point in the future a K390 version of the Delica. And K390 is awesome, but it's not stainless, right? They're going to want $115 for the K390 Delica, which is, wow, honestly, pretty good. Uh, I have a K390 keychain knife that I've been using forever. <laughs> this guy right here. A lot of this is adhesive, but it's definitely got a patina on it. This is this stuff is amazing, right? For people who live in areas where you need a stainless steel, it's like, well, all the edge retention in the world's not going to do you any good if the thing just turns into, you know, a, a piece of the Titanic, right? Essentially. Um, so, yeah, I, I this doesn't require much, right? I mean, we can do, for those of you who don't know, I suppose I'll do a measurement real quick. This is going to be linked down below, by the way. Do a measurement. Overall length here, 7 inches. Blade length is under 3 inches, which makes it great for people who have a 3-inch blade law. I'm sorry you're dealing with that, but I know that there are people, plenty of people watching who have to deal with that. 2.5 inches on the cutting edge. This is a lockback, right? But a good one. Easy to manipulate. Uh with one hand if you really want to. You can do the reverse flick and all that fun stuff. Has the basic Spyderco pocket clip, which isn't excellent, but you can buy an aftermarket clip, much like the uh, MXG de uh, deep carry clip I've installed on this guy, I think works a lot better, or your Lynch clips, right? Uh, good and fit good fit and finish, uh, good lockup, right? Weight on this guy. I don't know why my scale is over here on Neptune today, but there we go. Uh, weight on the uh, Delica here, uh, very lightweight at 2.33 ounces, so great ratios, right? 
Uh, blade stock thickness, do we really need to? I think we will, just in case there's a few people watching who don't know this stuff on the Delica. 91 thousandths, right? The uh, the only reason to pick up the VG10 version of the Delica anymore, um, in my opinion, is just to try this knife with the Warncliffe blade. Um, I think that the size of this and the carry profile and all that, it's all still excellent in terms of like what the Delica brings to the table. But that Warncliffe blade, I think, just makes a lot more sense for your day-to-day -day types of cuts, right? If you need it, if you have more of a specialty occupation and you need more of a specialty knife with a specialty knife steel, then okay, right? But for me, as a guy who, you know, uh, basically uses a knife for small things around his house, periodically works outside on the weed, just, just yard stuff, right? And, you know, it might use a blade to cut, you know, those big, thick, uh, those nasty weeds that find a way to grow. Like the, you know, there's like a giant one that's been prospering for a while behind your tool shed. And you go back there and you're like, oh my gosh, this thing's basically a tree now. Well, the base of them, they're real thorny, right? So sometimes I'll use a pocket knife to get in there, even though you're supposed to pull the whole root out. I just don't want all those prongs in my, in my hands, right? You get in there with a knife and that's the kind of stuff that I'll do, right? And you might jam the blade into a rock. It's not, I mean, you're going to get dirt and crap in the pivot and all that stuff from the plant all over the blade, but that's the kind of stuff, right? Other than that, it's just like, oh, you know, somebody needs their bag of chips opened or not really, you know, you can open a bag of chips with your hands. Somebody needs something simple opened, right? And use a knife for that. VG10 will honestly work just fine, right? The irony here is that I'm exactly the type of person that shouldn't be complaining about VG10. I just don't want to pay $84 for it, right? It's a, it's more tempting with the Warncliffe. Um, I think that this, honestly, I do think this is a better blade shape. Um, but if you're just like, I want the ultimate Delica, right? I want like the ultimate Delica. It's the K390 version, right? Um, and I like the idea of them having a basic version of the Delica and then a more premium version of it, kind of like what they used to do with, um, for example, uh, they had like your um, S30V variants of the American flagship models, like the PM2 and the Manix 2 and uh, the Native 5 and the Para 3, and then they did the Blurple S110V variants for more money, but you had a more specialized, more premium steel, right? So it's like, I know they're not going to drop the price in the VG10 one down to where it honestly should be about 50 bucks, maybe 60. Um, but I also don't know what steel would make sense to keep it, you know, at 84. Like, I'd love CPM 154, but that might be kind of expensive, right? Um, so I don't know. Uh, I would say, you know, best case scenario, we just see them do... Uh, for a stainless version, they, they do an S45VN version of the Delica with still, you know, with great edge retention and all that, um, and stainless, right? Um, but as of right now, I think uh, if you really want to know, you know, what's the ultimate Delica, what's the way to go, you know, if you really don't care about VG10 and the 84 bucks isn't, you know, peeling your grapes, then... Uh, then okay, it's 84 bucks, right? It's not that big of a deal. In my opinion, you're probably overpaying by 30 to 35 bucks, right? In a, in a way, that's a lot of money, but in a lot of ways, it's also not a lot of money, right? I mean, you could you could look at it as almost a tank of gas, right? So it depends on how you look at it. But the K390 Delica for $115 is not only the best, you know, the best version of it. It's honestly kind of a deal, right? 115 bucks. I do like this blade chip though. I love that they kept it fully flat ground and I love this spine back here. It's really comfortable to rest your finger on like that, that it's like the, the hole there, you know, placing your thumb in that and then positioning your fingers like this is just absolutely perfect. Nice size, nice, nice weight. I don't know that this video needs to go on that much longer. The reason that this is not really a full comprehensive review is, as my viewers know, right, I have massively reviewed this knife multiple times, multiple variants of the Delica. I've reviewed it into the ground. There's just really not a reason for me to talk about it that much more, but I did want to give my thoughts on the Warncliffe blade because it's it's a good blade, and the Delica is legendary, right? You love it or you hate it, you know what the Delica is. I promise. N not many people came in here going, "What's a Spiderco Delica?" Right? People know what it is. So that's pretty much it. 
I'll link the uh, I'll link this guy down below. I'll also link the the coming soon, or at least what I saw for the K390 uh, Warncliff Delica. I'll link that. By the time you guys are seeing it, maybe it'll already be available. So that's the one that I would recommend. But you know, make you can make your mind up for yourself. Uh, thanks again to Blade Edge for sending this in for review, guys. Short and sweet. That's gonna be pretty much it today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.